The next thing we're going to do is you're going to go to the start option. You're going to type in MS config. Um, for XP, there should be a uh, a run button, and you just click the run button, and then click MS or type in MS config. Um, so you're going to see several tabs here. The first one says general. Second one says boot. Third one says services, and the startup is going to be the important one for now. Um, here you can decide uh, when you start up your operating system what programs will start up with the operating system. Uh, if you have a long, long startup, it's probably because you have a ton of things starting up in the very beginning of the uh, of logging into your Windows operating system. So um, what you're going to do here is you're going to look through anything that you think you're not going to need when uh, when the operating system starts up. Uh, for example, I don't need uh, rain meter starting up. By default, that starts up uh, when the program is installed. Uh, I don't need QuickTime starting up. I don't need uh, I don't need uh, iTunes starting up. I don't need any uh, Apple stuff starting up at all. And I don't even know why this is starting up. I don't want the manager starting up either. Um, if I want to start up any of these programs, I'll just click on it. So I would rather not have them uh, start up on their own. Um, so after you've done this, you've decided what you want starting up and what you want uh, not starting up. You're going to click apply, and sometimes you will get this message that says computer must restart in order to take effect. Um, you could go ahead and restart, um, but you can also uh, say later, restart later. Um, it's up to you what you want to do, and uh, let's move to the next step. So if you guys use Internet Explorer, it's time to cut it out. You're going to need a better browser than uh, crappy Internet Explorer. So uh, what you're going to do is, and for the last time, please make this the last time you ever use Internet Explorer, uh, go to uh, Google and type in Firefox, and you're going to see a link that says download Firefox. If you get, like, uh, if you get yellow, uh, a yellow background on the links, just ignore that and go to the one that says there's a little firefox.org and uh, click that. This is already uh, detecting that I have it in my computer, but if you don't have it in your computer, you're going to see something that says uh, download Firefox in big green letters, and uh, you're going to click that. And then uh, uh, you can also use Google Chrome, but I, I prefer Firefox just because I'm used to it. Uh, so it's really up to you what you want to do. Um, so you're going to go through the Firefox setup and uncheck anything uh, that you really don't want installing with the program. I'm not sure if uh, Firefox does that, but most programs out there do do that. Install things along with the program by default, and uh, that's where you get you, that's where you get a bunch of crap programs and toolbars from uh, in your control panel. Um, so watch out what how you uh, always do setups and. Uh, after you've installed uh, Firefox, what you're going to do is open Firefox and then on the on the bar right here, right above the navigation bar, you're going to click uh, menu bar because uh, it has this little Firefox tab. You're just going to click menu bar to make it easier for yourself and have these options just like that. Then you're going to go to uh, tools, you're going to go to options, uh, and you're going to just set your home page as google.com and uh, uh, I, I go to privacy and I click do not tell any sites anything about my tracking preferences and then uh, go to go to Google and type in uh, adblock plus and after you've done that you go to uh, where it says add-ons.mozilla and then you will click add to Firefox and then click install and uh, then you will notice that if you go to websites that have ads most of the ads will be gone uh, for example if I go to msn.com right now and you see that there's no ads because uh, they usually put an ad right here um, but this is not an ad this is a video um, so let me show you what happens if I take away the uh, the adblock plus let me disable it and then uh, if I go back to MSN, you see the ad now. Um, but if you want to disable the ads, you go to your Adblock Plus and enable it. It's already enabled when you install it. 
and uh, I also go to tools um, add-ons which is this page already that we're at go to get add-ons and type in disconnect which is this extension right here this add-on disconnect and uh, that helps exactly it does exactly what it says makes the web faster more private and more secure um, so it disconnects uh, other websites seeing uh, websites that you go to they stop tracking you as much uh, because I know a lot of people really don't like websites knowing other websites that they visit um, it's just a, uh, a thing of privacy and uh, so after you've done that we're gonna um, move to the next step which is uh, adding toolbars right here and uh, if you want to add a toolbar all you have to do is right click anywhere on the actually you're gonna click here if your toolbar isn't showing you right click here click toolbars and then uh, you can click anywhere on the toolbar and uh, you can click uh, new bookmark and then you could just add um, uh, copy and paste the link just copy and paste the link right click new bookmark uh, name it Google and then you could just put uh, the link which is the location and then click add and then uh, it'll which I already have here and then you could just easily click back and forth through your favorite links like Amazon Google really easy really really awesome to save time the last thing you want to do for the browser is uh, when you download anything it's gonna go to this little arrow here and that's all your downloads um, you could right click it and customize these arrows you could put the print right there you just drag the print button up there um, you could do a ton of customizations to Firefox and Google Chrome um, but uh, like I said anytime you download something it's gonna go into that arrow uh, if you want to make it easy for yourself and just go to the desktop and know where all your downloads are going to uh, all you have to do is go to start type in download and then you right click on the downloads folder and click open file location you're gonna take downloads and you're gonna click create shortcut so you have a download shortcut and um, you're just gonna drag it to the to the desktop um, it opened it up uh, by default in the desktop because I dragged the original um, downloads folder to the desktop instead of making a shortcut at first but uh, if you get a different folder than the desktop when you open it just do the same thing we just did just create shortcut and drag the shortcut to the desktop and name it downloads